Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Barry, what does tyranny look like? Well, we have a pretty good example on planet Earth. It's called Iran. And, and right now, Iran is escalating its proxy a terrorist war, if you will, on societies, including Israel, that wishes to practice religion freely. Graham, you are seeing the results in Lebanon and northern Israel of a war that was financed by our former president, Barack Obama. Uh, Obama. The billions that he gave Iran are being invested in terror around the Middle East uh, in Hamas and Hezbollah in Lebanon. Hamas obviously in the Gaza Strip. These tunnels that they have now discovered in northern Israel are being paid for and bragged about by Iran and being built by Hezbollah in the shadow of UNIFIL troops. Uh, for those that don't know, UNIFIL, the United Nations interim force in Lebanon, is there to prevent any militarization of southern Lebanon. These tunnels are being built literally in the shadow. I was just there of the guard posts on the border staffed by UN troops who literally look the other way because they've been threatened with death. So instead of enforcing the UN resolutions, what do they do? They look the other way and go to coffee and 24-7 Hezbollah troops, which are basically Iranian proxies, are drilling tunnels into Israel, and the invasion plan was made public where they said these tunnels will be used to conquer northern Israel. Not a joke, literally made public. Why? Because there's a countdown clock in Tehran that says the number of days and years left until Israel is destroyed by Iran. They brag about it, the UN, predictably, does nothing. Does nothing. Yeah. And unfortunately, this could uh, eventually trigger a war uh, in the Middle East. Here at home, what does scandal look like? Well, look no further than the <laughs> Clinton Foundation, where apparently there is evidence, a lot of evidence, that Bill Clinton had a little bit of a problem using foundation money, this would be money donated by Americans, for his own, shall we call them, escapades. Hundreds of pages have been released by three insiders at the Clinton Foundation detailing uh, something like a dozen or more different examples of dipping into the till by Bill Clinton. When you run a 501c3, a tax-deductible nonprofit, the money has to go for the public good, not for your own fun stuff. And apparently, Bill was very liberal even, get this, according to the CFO of the Clinton Foundation, to dip in and pay things he wanted to. And the other question regarding the Clinton Foundation, Graham, is how did they raise so much money? Well, that's the pay-for-play scheme that they had running where Hillary was Secretary of State, Bill would fly around the world making millions, literally millions, right. in speeches for an hour or 90 minutes, and then the State Department would sign off on some rather sketchy proposal that had nothing to do with the fact that the Clinton Foundation was getting gazillions in donations. And uh, Hillary this Clinton is the scandal of the century. It is, it's certainly, among them. And, and, of course, Hillary did not win the presidency, and all of a sudden donations uh, plummet, which is uh, fitting. But there needs to be an investigation. <laughs> certainly the, uh, the state of New York, it probably never happened, don't hold your breath, the state of New York should be investigating the Clinton Foundation. Real quick, Barry, almost out of time, about 30 seconds left. What does a blue wave look like? Well, I think we saw it in 2018 in the midterm elections, at least in the House. You know, it, it, but it's not exceptional, Graham. Clinton lost 60 seats. Um, uh, previously, uh, Obama lost 63 seats yep. in the midterms. Uh, quite frankly, Trump did much better. He actually gained in the Senate, and that's unheard of. This is not a wave. It was a ripple. All right. Okay, fine. Call it a ripple. But I think we better brace ourselves for a uh, blue tsunami <laughs> in 2020 if the Democrats uh, keep uh, at this pace on what they're doing in terms of what is the truth is voter fraud because that's an element to the victory in 2018 without a doubt massive voter fraud especially in california barry thanks